Hello and welcome Virgo. This is your April 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Virgos, what we will do here, we will divide the reading in sections so it's easier to convey the messages actually. Um, so what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead for your very sign. Before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, maybe there's some healing that needs to happen, maybe there's some things that need to go, that kind of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of April 2023 for your very sign of Virgo. Are you ready? Good, that's what I wanted to hear. Here we go. The overall energy for you in the month of April is to look at your resources. Okay, that is not about necessarily looking at how much money have I got, you know, how do I do this? But resources in this case really mean what do I know about myself that I know is working, right? What are the resources that I can bring to my life and to the life of others? This is about reflecting the overall energy for the month of April 2023 for the sign of Virgo is rather than just blindly, wildly branching out at this point in time, is to reflect, what are my resources? What can I do? And am I fully prepared to embark on this? So this is a really reflective energy here for Virgo. And um, the important thing here is that, it ha that the card that depicts this has a number on it, which is the number 40. And so we don't count the zero, we only count the four. Now, four by default is the number of letting things go, right? So it is known as the number of death, the hunter of death. It just means like things need to come to an end. And what needs to come to an end this month is you not paying attention to your own skills, not paying attention to your own, again, resources. So, this is, so I have to stress this. Money is not a spiritual currency. So it cannot be manifested. What can be manifested is what you want to do with it. So you ask and you, you, you go towards what you want to achieve without doing the mathematical thing. Oh, I'm going to pay for this. It doesn't work that way. So therefore, the energy here is not about money. This is not about financial resources. This is about understanding what can I bring to the table in any area of my life that can make life better. So this is a, a month of reflection for you, but also self-empowerment seems to be super important, right? Really, really important. Be self-empowering to yourself, right? Wake up in the morning and shout, I'm awesome, and see how it changes your perception of yourself. In any case, let's have a look now at the um, uh, emotional core. And again, <laughs> not easy. Sorry, uh, I, got, I had my cat up here for a minute and I think I have a cat hair in my nose. Anyway, too much information. When it comes to your emotional core, you have the energy of opposition and confrontation. In order for you to manifest a relationship that works, in order for you to bring the relationship you're in, you find yourself likely this month at odds with the situation you're in. You're in opposition to a lot of the things your love life represents. Now, if you haven't got a relationship, then you're also at odds with what you're trying to manifest. And all the guides are saying, sometimes being at odds with yourself is not a bad thing because it, it, it forces you to stop. And the number on this card is the number 53. So we count, we put them together, five and three is eight. Eight is the number of stumbling blocks, which what that means is you have your number eight, right? And then in order for you to see things differently, you have to change the angle from which you assess your life. And therefore, the eight will topple over and it becomes the infinity sign. So there's a lot of symbolism here. The point they're making is when you are at odds with yourself, stop, right? What is it that doesn't quite leave me? What is it that doesn't quite come in? And then look for a vantage point, see it differently. And therefore, when you see a, a, a different flow, you see different opportunities. Really, really important. That is your emotional core. Now, let's move into um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of 
April 2023 for the sign of Virgo. So let's have a look at your opportunities this month. <laughs> okay, sounds a bit sounds a bit cliche. Onwards and upwards. Opportunities in your energy are a bit off. So energetically speaking, it doesn't feel like there's a lot happening for you in April. But you're on a journey and the journey is well marked out. So you're really making progress. You're really going somewhere. Um, and all they're saying to you is don't badmouth it just because it's not as quick as you want it to be. Understand you're on a journey, right? You figure out who you are. You're going on, you embark on that journey. And that's all you can do and all you should do. So opportunities, for, for want of a better word, are coming when you are relentless, right? In a non-threatening way. Virgos, that's all I got. Thank you for hanging out with me, um, for watching the video, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next month. Again, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, it will help out the channel quite a lot. Thank you so much. See you next month. Bye-bye.